Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the invitation to join you for this meeting that is looking at the new global partnership in the post-2015 framework and the discussions that are currently ongoing, not only in New York, but also across the world. Interestingly enough, the Rio Plus 20 Summit and the initiative to look at a sustainable development goals objective has become a centerpiece of a global conversation that, perhaps different to the original development of the Millennium Development Goals, has truly begun to involve not only politicians, permanent representatives in New York, but civil society organizations, private sector organizations and the public in general through a major outreach effort. I'm thrilled my colleague Amina Mohammed yesterday provided you with some insights as to where this process has taken us. Let me briefly offer you a few reflections from a UNIP perspective that are part of the overall United Nations system and the United Nations Secretary General's approach to assisting member states at arriving at a set of sustainable development goals and also a post-2015 development framework that will truly mark an evolution of the paradigm under which development can be understood. First, let us recognize that the decisions by heads of state and government in Rio clearly articulated the need for a set of sustainable development goals in which universality and the integration of the three dimensions of sustainable development would be central concepts. This is not an easy, both politically, economically and practically, um, set of guidances that we are to follow. However, they do speak to the recognition that we must look at planetary boundaries. We must understand that acting collectively is the only opportunity to address some of the sustainability objectives we are pursuing today. This is not to say that the Millennium Development Goals and some of its focus in particular on poverty reduction and alleviation, but also on the other MDGs have somehow become redundant. On the contrary, we know that we still have a lot of work to do and indeed the Secretary General has called for an accelerated effort in the remaining one and a half years for the MDGs. The MDGs will also find their way, that is at least the intent that governments have articulated, into the Sustainable Development Goals. But here is one very strong perspective from the United Nations Environment Programme that we hope you will also be able to articulate. First of all, the responsibility to act in a Sustainable Development Goals context will be universal. It also means returning some of our attention on what is happening in the industrialized world, in the rich world, or indeed amongst the rich classes in our world. Because if the development discourse remains simply focused on what is happening with the poor and with poverty, we neglect many of the factors and influences that actually ultimately will determine whether poverty eradication will succeed and whether also the consumption and production patterns across the globe will allow us to move towards a more sustainable development process. Secondly, the notion of integration. It is critical that we don't simply produce goals that are the result of advocacy for a number of particular issues. At the heart of the sustainable development paradigm is the notion of an integrated approach. Almost like the DNA of development, we must ensure that the goals speak to the multiple objectives but also wins that we can achieve. The social, the environmental and the economic belong together. They condition each other's success and therefore we hope that also you will not only look at what is perhaps a single issue that should find itself into the top end formulation of a goal, but rather how can the targets and indicators speak to this integrated approach. Ultimately, we are trying to move the development paradigm to catch up with the realities of our planet. We know since the Global Environment Outlook report that UNO produced in 2012 that on most of the environmental targets we have not done very well. Indeed, with unemployment and much of the social upheaval in the world, we also know that the social dimension of development is not succeeding. The link between economy, society and also the environment are essential in order to achieve that progress. We hope that civil society and particularly also NGOs will be part of that conversation. While it is governments that will agree in the end the sustainable development goals, it is through the public actions, the public debates and also the issues and the approaches that you can promote that governments will hopefully find a set of sustainable development goals that will be appropriate for our age and also the challenges we face. They are, in the end, an enormous opportunity to unite the world rather than divide it. Thank you.